just a... Hey, Brian, we've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. All right, Alec, good stuff there. Makes a good point. Now let's take a look at the Kings opening lineup. Fox and Halliburton are the guard set. Barnes is out there with Tristan Thompson. And it's Heal in at the three. And for Phoenix... And every... Do you think it takes long for players to adjust? You know, B.A., it depends on the rule and how strict they will call it. Things like the rip-through, hand-checking, those type of rules, they take some time to adjust. And Mikael Bridges, man, has he grown in this league, growing more and more deadly with that shot. Yeah, I mean, he's increased the amount of threes he takes. He's gone from average shooter to great one. A fantastic option to have out there on the wing. The Suns leading. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. MP finds McGee. MP with it. He's covered by Fox. A nice shot by MP. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Sacramento has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Outside Mitchell. Back to Fox. McGee with a steal. Pass to MP from deep three-point range. Offensive board. Count it. Good. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Suns. Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. For some reason, they've also had guys in the right spots on the offensive glass. Lots of putbacks. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. MP, the pass to Booker. Back to MP. Inside, deflects the pass. Fox with the ball. Now guarded by MP. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Well, the rumors were flying early on, Grant. Seems that this franchise has different views of how MP should be used. Well, B.A., the source of the conflict comes from the front office and coaching staff. With all that going on, you wonder just how much it's impacting MP's playing time. Booker, good. Booker's such a good spot-up shooter, but when he gets on the move and he has that kind of deft touch, that's a pretty soft loader. Fox outside. Jacks up a three. And so it's the Phoenix Suns closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Just joining us. We played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? Well, you have to love their activity level at the defensive end, racking up those steals. You know, they really made a lot of good quality reads down there. Took some chances, but feeling more calculated than risky. Taking a look at Sacramento, Marvin Bagley is out there with Terrence Davis. Then it's Alex Lynn. Then it's Emmanuel Moutier, and it's Mitchell in at the point. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to impose his will on a nightly basis. Ayton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Here's Moutier. Bagley up top. Pass to Moutier. Six to shoot. Driving inside. Goes back up. Kaminsky pulls it in. And the Suns shooting it well. Around 55% for the game. MP no good. And despite a struggle scoring the ball, they've done enough to build this lead. Oh, got that bucket Emmanuel in no time Moutier. at all. Have to appreciate how comfortable Moudier looked taking that one. Released it as soon as he caught it. MP right side. Outside Payne. On the wing.
playing MP. Payne against Bagley. Rebound by the Kings. And that's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. On the wing, Davis, covered by Johnson. Here's Bagley. That one falls. Bagley Coming off Davis' feed. Assisted by. And now just a one-point Phoenix lead. Well, Bagley's so effective on the inside. He's got decent power, but it's the quickness that gets it done. Bagley against Payne. From outside the arc. Phoenix no good that time either. Sacramento has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Davis, the pass to Mitchell. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. The D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Pass to Sharich. A shot to stop the drill. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Bagley's got four rebounds now. And looking at Marvin Bagley, the talent is evident. A big man, he can go out and get you a double-double any night. Plays with just an infectious energy, too. Payne, pass to MP. To the paint. Oh, got a piece of it. And stolen by Bagley. To the inside, Davis. After missing his first Terrence attempt, Davis. now one for two. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Phoenix calls timeout. When it comes to Bagley, one question mark I have is his health. And if he might be injury prone, Grant. Well, the good news, B.A., for him is that he's young. Hopefully he's able to shake off these nagging injuries. Let's face it, the more he's on the court, the more confidence he'll gain. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game. King Suns will go for a different look here. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Aiton. Sharich comes in for Crowder. Johnson, he's checked in for Bridges. And MP is subbed in for Paul. And in the league today, we've got some all-time greats playing out on the wing. But who do you think the best wing in the NBA is right now, Grant? Oh, boy, oh, boy. You're trying to get me in trouble. That's a tough one. I mean, you have LeBron, you have Giannis, you have Kawhi, KD. All of them are elite. All of them are champions. So if I had to choose, uh, I guess I'll go with, I don't know. They're just all great. Booker at the two with Johnson at the three. Frank Kaminsky is out there with Dario Saric. And it's MP in at the point guard position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Shot clock at five. Here's Moutier. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Offensive rebound. Kaminsky can't hit. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And Davis gets it to go. Three point field if there's a skill set you like your point guard to have, that's exceptional court vision. Moutier shows it off there with that assist. Booker, the pass to MP. Pass to Sharich. Over to the wing. Johnson finds MP. The Suns need to get off a shot. Mitchell with the ball. Picked up by Sharich. Mitchell misses. 
The Suns have gotten six of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Back to MP. And stolen by Bagley. Here they come with numbers in transition. Booker against Davis. Pass to Bagley. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Terrence Davis has Davis. got three assists now in this one. Phoenix has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. The drive by MP. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Phoenix. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Well, looking up and down the stat sheet here, I'm seeing those second chance points jump out at me. They've done a great job on the offensive glass. McGee, he's checked in for the Suns. Bridges comes in for Johnson. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Holmes, he's checked in for Lynn. Barnes comes in for Davis. Heels checked in for Moutier. And De'Aaron Fox is subbed in for Mitchell. against MP. Outside heel. 27 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Good work defensively by Kaminsky. MP lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And now a seven-point Suns lead. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Out to heel. Three-pointer. And the three-pointer goes. Heald's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now, Heald has a beautiful release on his shot right there, just barely off of his fingertips and buttery soft. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Suns ahead, up by four. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. I speak for all of us when I say I can. So no problem for Sacramento as they get the win. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you later. Take up for put the chrome out on your drip. Chrome. Add up mathematics just like magic. Hi, I'm doing? Catherine Hanover. I handle PR for the team. Okay. How are you doing? You know, I got I'm super excited. Great. I got these. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. Look, I got these ideas. I'm gonna that stop I'm you there. No time for chit chat. I am putting out infernos, burning embers, and a couple fires where I'm the only one who smells smoke. Wow. I'm literally in three meetings right now. I sleep in my office twice a week, my kids' birthday invitations are press releases, and I craft players' social media posts in my dreams. Okay, so, so what do you need from me? Like? Don't interrupt, but that's a great question. That was a nice question. Have you ever heard of the fable of the four oxen and a lion? I'm afraid I, I haven't. Well, no. I don't have the time to tell it, so I'll give you the gist. Actually. No time for that. Only have time for the moral. United we stand, divided we fall. Imagine that, but with oxen. Inspiring. You and Coach aren't getting along. I mean, it's clear that I'm not his first choice. You know what I'm saying? And I can be a huge asset to this I don't care if you and Coach are sitting by the campfire singing Kumbaya. What I care about is what the public feels about your relationship. So, I need you to do an interview with John Luck where you sit down and you explain that everything is copacetic. Yeah, but clearly. That's, that's not the truth, though. Perception is reality. Nobody likes a boat rocker, especially me. Okay. Sit down with John Luck. Say what needs to be said so we can all move on. You go back to basketball and 
I'll go back to dreaming of someday being able to sit down for a meal instead of scarfing down a shawarma wrap in the elevator. <laughs> the shawarma wrap. You didn't find that funny. I got it. Okay, I got it. You're welcome to stay, but I'll be ignoring you from here on out. Okay, well, thank you. You're ignoring me, okay? You have a great day, Miss Hanover. She is a nut basket. Way it flip, look at the tongue. Brown skin just like the paddock on my arm, brown.